crystals make the world go around as much as power pop hits do. you attempt a safe landing on the runway. You won't have many chances to get this wrong, so please, follow my instructions very closely. out there today. 
I'll teach you some more moves next time. lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later lessons. obstacle course is designed to teach you how to get better control over your turns. The course goes around the harbor and you have to stay low to make the checkpoints. I want you to use everything you've learned so far to navigate this course as fast as you can. Watch your altitude though. This is really a test of how low you can go and how well you can maneuver the plane.
In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to perform an emergency landing. Remember to begin decelerating while you are still airborne for a smoother touchdown. Then, once you're on the ground, the brakes should bring you to a full stop very quickly. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're gonna practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is gonna stop pretty fast. That was an excellent landing! Very well done! loop can be a little disoriented, so we'll see how you do under pressure. Make sure you start this stunt from a completely level position. It's also important to remember to pull your stick back as straight as you can so you don't get thrown into a spiral. Take off and head for the marker at the end of the runway. Some pilots find these moves particularly tricky, so it might take you a few tries. Always make sure your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. Just like before, steady the plane first, wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking! You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. right side up. Yeah, that was a little sloppy, but passable. Keep practicing. You've been doing so well in the plane, we're going to put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. Let's go on a short tour of the city, and we'll see how well you handle the chopper. Follow the marked course, and remember, I'm looking for maneuverability, but also speed.
great out there. lesson, but with a real emphasis on speed this time. Finish the obstacle course around the city before the timer runs out, and try not to crash. At the end of the course, you'll be required to safely land your helicopter. Remember, this course is all about speed. To maximize acceleration, keep the nose of the helicopter tipped. Just bear in mind that you're also losing altitude when the nose is pointed down. Good work so far! Keep her at full speed! You're looking good!
you how to fly a helicopter. Now you're gonna learn how to jump out of one. Aim for the landing target and pull your chute when you get close to the ground. The parachute is difficult to control, so slow your approach and give yourself extra time to correct. involves skydiving onto a moving target. So I hope you brought a change of underwear. <laughs> the target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully and pay attention to the route. It may take several tries, but once you get this down, you'll be terrorizing drivers all over Los Santos. The drop zone is on the back of a moving truck. So take your time maneuvering with your parachute. It's better to pull your chute early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed. lesson is going to combine extremely dangerous stunts with highly populated city areas in an assault course that will put everything you've learned during your time in flight school to the test. For your sake, I hope you've been practicing knifing and flying upside down. I want you to take your very best shot at this obstacle course. There are going to be special gates that will require you to fly upside down or knife through them. Right out there. 
You've got this! 